up and welcome back to my channel so today is my first Valentine's Day tutorial for you guys and I decided to go with this kind of pink and purple eye with these heart blushes I wanted to incorporate hearts in some way so I decided to make a stencil and stencil on some uh, hearts on our cheeks to uh, replace our blush I really like how pretty and uh, glam and dramatic this is this definitely isn't really a look that you could do for like a first date but if you've been dating and woman for a while and you like this kind of look, then you guys can definitely try this out and tell me what your boyfriend thinks if you do this look. Also, I just styled this wig. I love it. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. It's a Donna Love hair wig and I'll leave a link to it down below. I am thinking about doing a styling video on how to style a wig like this because this is a gigantic wig it's so big and I love it it's like a drag queen wig and I am in love I was really inspired by Trixie Mattel because she is my fave I love her I also really love Alaska let me know in the comments down below who your favorite RuPaul Drag Race Queen is because I would love to know and if you guys would like to see how to get this look then please keep watching first things first we're gonna prime and I'm gonna be using my luminous blur stick by Melt Cosmetics Medics. I'm super excited because I just got this in the mail so let's go ahead and see how this works on my skin I really do like dewy skin and skin that is kind of illuminous so I think I'll probably like this this is just a stick formula so you're just gonna rub it on your skin and then I'm gonna blend it in with my beauty blender so for foundation today I'm gonna be going in with my CC cream by it cosmetics and this is also an illuminating foundation so it'll go perfect with the blur stick So now for concealer, I'm going to be testing out this new Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. This is in the color Fair Warm, so I'm just going to put this on all the highlighted areas on my face. So now I'm going to set all my highlighted areas with my Taco Eyeshadow by Sugar Pill because I like a really bright, intense highlight. So for contour today, I'm going to be using my Infidelity Contour Shade from Makeup Geek. So you're going to want to skip your blush for now and move on to your eyes and for eyes today we're going to start everything off with a nice sweep of our Taco Eyeshadow by Sugar Pill from our eyelid to brow bone. So once you have your white base all over your eyelids you can then go in with a pink shade for your crease and I'm going to be going in with Dolly Pop by Sugar Pill. And now for your other eye you're going to want to go in with a purple color and I'm going to be going in with Sugar Pill's Poison Plum. Now for our lower lash line, I'm going to be taking my Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil and I'm going to be filling in our waterline and drawing underneath our waterline to give ourselves a more dolly-eyed look effect. Now I'm going to take some more Dolly Pop and we're just going to run this underneath the purple eye for the waterline. And I'm going to do the same thing with the pink eye except we're going to be doing it with purple. Now I'm going to freshen up our lid color with some more taco. Now I'm going to be taking my eyeliner and making a big wing eyeliner. So for my top lashes, I'm going to be actually stacking two pairs of my Amore lashes by Coco Lashes. And then for my bottom lashes, I'm going to be taking an assortment of cut up House of Lashes in the style Iconic. So once you're done applying your lashes, you can go in with some iridescent rhinestones and apply them to your inner corner and in between your individual eyelashes on your bottom lash line to give yourself some beautiful sparkle and shine. So for my lashes, I'm actually going to be going in with this Sigma White Mascara and I'm going to be running these through my eyebrows so we can make them pink. <laughs> Before we start filling them in with pink, I'm going to set them with my Taco Eyeshadow by Sugar Pill. For my eyebrows, I'm actually going to be using a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the color Prom Night to fill in my eyebrows and shape them with this. apply a little bit of purple iridescent glitter to the beginning of our eyebrows so we kind of have like a gradient glitter brow. For our blush today we're going to start things off with making kind of like a stencil because we want to have 
a heart in the middle of both of our cheeks so I'm gonna be taking these dollar heart stickers that I got from Target and I'm just gonna be sticking them lightly on my cheeks in the middle so I can put my blush around it so when we take it off we have a really pretty kind of heart on our cheeks so for our blush each cheek is gonna be different I'm gonna do a purple cheek and then I'm also gonna do a pink cheek For my lips today, I'm going to be taking my Jeffree Star Prom Night lipstick and I'm just going to be making a pink ombre lip, kind of like a blurry lip for my lips today. So now I'm going to be taking some Dolly Pop Poison Plum and some white eyeliner and I'm going to be making some freckles all over my face. Now I'm going to add some highlight to my face and I'm just going to be taking my Kat Von D Thunderstruck. And I'm going to add a touch of pink to the tip of my nose and around my hairline. So guys, here's my finished look. I really like how this came out. I think it's so pretty and it really reminds me of kind of like Barbie because I feel like pink and purple are Barbie colors. But other than that, I really do like this look. I hope you guys like it too. If you guys want to see a wig styling tutorial, please let me know in the comments down below or like this video so I know to do it. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this first video for my Valentine's Day series. And there's going to be three more looks, so be on the lookout for those. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!